Um, how many of you, I don't think you can even get a cell phone without a double line, but do any of you not have a double line on your phone? Like we can click over, and like, hold on a second, I have another call. Yeah. You know, well, everyone has that, right? No? You don't have that? Are you serious? You're Canadian? So when people call you, they get the busy signal. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> My dad's like that too. Well, it's not to imply anything other than the fact that, like, I think that as, as technology's gotten better and we've come up with more ways to make our lives convenient, in fact, they've made it more complicated. And I know we all know that, but... Um, that, wait, I want to ask, though, like, what does what did having a double line have to do with being Canadian? I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, you live over here and you're not sure how to switch over to the, the other line. You guess, so. Okay. So anyway, probably I can give you a tutorial. Potentially, I wasn't interviewing her. I just was <laughs> finding someone in the audience that I could relate to. She was you. That's her way of You've been oh. discarded. Oh. We're done with you. Oh, I'm going to come back to you. Don't worry. You have yet to decide about what. Anyway, I've told this story a million times. I'm not going to tell the story, but I've just I've said a million times that my dad doesn't have another, a, a double line. He also doesn't have voicemail. He has an answering machine still. And. Um, Oh, you've reached Steven. It's so far away, I don't even know what you're saying. It's so weird. The tape's so old. I, it's a surprise that the tape isn't broken yet. And if it did, I'm sure he just would have no answering machine. You know? yeah. No reason for it. But My dad got a cell phone, though. He's always had a cell phone for work, but he got a cell phone that he could text, so he could text us when we were on the road. And I went to his house to visit him. He, we don't live in the same city, and I taught him how to text. And I talked about a text that his phone couldn't text, it was so old, so he had to get a new one. And he got a wicked phone, like the next time I saw him, he has a better phone than I do. And he would send me the funniest text, but the first one that he sent me was, Hi, I love you, I'm in a red light. And then, loved it. <laughs> uh, I was like, look at that first text and he's doing something illegal and dangerous. Um, anyway, but he would send like the cutest text, you know, things like he came and be like, you know, I hope they love you, and like, things Aww. like that, you know, like about the audiences, like when we were talking about stuff. Aww. Okay. I'll live now. People on the internet a lot will probably actually watch. Yeah, I'll probably see this on the internet, but anyway. Um, okay, would do that. But my point was that, so I think the double line is it's really important. I think it's like, I mean, I would never not have a double line, because the whole time I'm, I would be on the phone, I'd be like, I wonder who's calling me. <laughs> like, I paid an extra $3 a month, only for a few months, then I stopped doing it because I was like, this is ridiculous. So I took it off, but for three months I paid for the function so that even when your phone is off, you get sent a message telling you that someone called you. So whether they left a voicemail or not, like if your phone is off, you'll get these messages when you turn your phone back on that tells you what number is called you. You get it free on your whole first view. I'm from Canada, everything's really expensive there. <laughs> Our cell phone plans are like really, like for like 500 minutes, we pay like $300. Like, it's insane. Why should move here? Our cell phones do still have that tin can at one end and then this. <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, so for me it was incredible. So I'm glad you pointed out that everyone has that here, so. Anyway. Have, have what? The, the thing where it tells you who calls you when, when you phone talks her. Anyway, that's kind of what the song's about. It's like that obsession of like, what's happening. We call it FOMO in our band. Fear of missing out. Oh. You know, where you're in a movie and you're like, I'm just going to turn my phone on just to see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> go back to the movie I paid $400 to see. <laughs> anyway. Those are expensive.